Welcome to the second video of Knowing with the Body. In the previous video, I introduced somatic practices and embodied knowledge as a different type of intelligence that can help us in our learning and research. Now I will take you through moving with two spatial concepts of lines and angles compared with circles and curves. And this will give you a practical example of creating body awareness, knowing with and through the body in movement, so that you are ready to research with your body. You can do this in your own home if you have a space of two square meters to move freely. If you prefer to skip the movement practice now, the third and final video addresses the concrete application of the body as instrument for the research cycle. You don't have to have any specific training or experience to participate, as movement includes everyday motions and gestures such as walking, stretching, turning, rolling, simply done with full attention. This type of movement then becomes a means for personal exploration in a different way. And linking up with the previous video, how can we consciously cultivate perception of the outside world, the exteroception, of our bodily movement and orientation, the proprioception, and of our internal physical and mental states, interoception. And our brain is the center in which these perceptions are interpreted and translated, but without the body and without our senses to map both what's inside and what's outside of us, there would not be any data to start with. So how can we become more conscious of the data bank that our body provides? Before we start, I will talk you through some preparations which will appear next to me. And when I give you a cue, you can pause the video so you can attend to these instructions. Please make sure you are in a space where you can work undisturbed for the duration of this video. And don't forget to switch your phone to airplane mode. Clear some room to move freely, ideally about two square meters. If necessary, you can also do this exercise seated. At the end, you will need some post-it notes or pieces of paper and a pen to write down a few keywords and ideally not on your electronic device. So please pause the video now until you have organized this. Welcome back. Remember that there is no specific outcome required. It is about your personal exploration. Don't judge yourself if it is challenging to connect with the instructions. You don't have to get it right, as there is no wrong. You are simply exploring an addition to your research toolbox. Become aware of your body. Feel your feet on the ground or your bum on the chair if you are seated. Become aware of the space under your feet and the space above your head. Take a few conscious breaths. Rub your hands together. And gently roll your shoulders. And bring some movement to your spine. And are there any tight or sore places in your body? If there are, imagine breathing into those to give them a little more space. Take some time to do what your body needs. This is like tuning your instrument before you start to play. And you know your body best. So if you feel you need more time, please pause the video and continue your warm up as long as you need. Now start swaying gently from one foot to the other. Become aware of your senses. What do you notice within your body? The sound of your breath, your heartbeat, the gurgling of your tummy, perhaps an ache or pain somewhere. And 
what surfaces does your body meet? How do your clothes hang around your body? How does your belt sit around your waist? Might your shoe press into your feet somewhere? And where does your body meet the floor, the chair, and the air around you? Now expand your awareness slightly. What do you observe directly around you? Perhaps you notice how the light falls through the window. How warm is the temperature of the room on your skin? What do you smell? Are there any immediate sounds like the humming of a fridge or footsteps of your housemates? Now widen your awareness even further to the space outside. Perhaps you hear birds, traffic noise, a plane overhead, A dog barking? A siren? All these layers of information shape movement as a way of knowing. These are radio stations you can tune into. So which station do you want to listen to? We are now going to work with a concrete set of concepts which we will explore through movement. Start by focusing on lines and angles. What lines and angles can you make with your hands? Your knees. Your elbows. Your arms. What lines and angles do you observe in the space? And can you move in lines and angles? Now do the same for circles and curves. What circles and curves and perhaps spirals can you make with your body? Your hands. Your elbows. Your arms. your hips, your knees. And do you observe any circles and curves in the space you're in? And can you direct your movement in circles and curves? In your own timing, swap between these two polarities. Do they feel different? What associations do you have with each? Is there one you feel more comfortable with? I will stop talking for a few minutes so you can explore both concepts. 
You can swap backwards and forwards between each of the polarities as often as you like, or you can stay longer in each. Make sure, however, that you visit both of them. As an extra challenge, you might try moving your upper body in angles and lines, and your lower body in curves and circles, or vice versa. We are now bringing the experience to our mental cognition. Without breaking the exploration, find your way to your writing materials. So while you keep moving, try to find three keywords for each polarity. What have you learned? What has moving with these concepts taught you? And how would you describe their essence? Bring this to completion. Put your writing gear down. Feel your feet on the floor. Take a few deep breaths. And give yourself a pat on the back for trying something new. And after closing this video, take some time to reflect on how this experience was for you. What stood out most and what will you take with you? Well done for trying something new. You can now continue to the third and final video, which gives a concrete overview of utilizing the body as instrument throughout the entire research cycle. Thank you for your time and remember your body.